Morning lovelies, Nate here. We are starting back fresh. We have been a little naughty. I've been following our diet. I've been sick, I've been slack, I've been eating crap food, I've been all the naughty things. So today we are getting back into weight loss, we're getting back into body boss, we're getting back into a routine, um, we're getting back into vlogging. So um, let's get into it. So I'm a bit worried about hopping on these scales. Oh dear, yes, we are worried about getting on these scales. Two kilos or 1.5 kilos. I put on 1.5 kilos and one percentage of fat. So disappointing but what do I expect when I eat nothing but chips and chocolate and soft drink and all those really horrible foods and yeah we need to do something about that now. Let's get into it. <laughs> so welcome to the new <laughs> vlogging while driving my dash cam as you would say I suppose call it thank you 3m for the um, repositionable velcro for hanging pictures I can now hang my camera on the front of my car and um, do a vlog so that is pretty awesome when I am driving to work I think about a lot of things and I like to talk my feelings and my thoughts and you know everything out loud there's no one to talk to unless you know like of an afternoon I call my husband my mother and my sister on the way home but in the morning when I'm stuck in traffic going to work I have no one to talk to <laughs> everyone else is at work and already going we're going to give this dashboard vlog thing a go see how well it goes the only thing is I have to watch my speed because I'm gonna end up speeding because I'm not paying attention to the road as much as I should but both hands are on the wheel I'm safe day one starting back body boss healthy eating for fertility oh my gosh <laughs> it's going to be a long haul I'm still a bit if you can't tell I'm very nasally from having the flu last week uh, very congested sinuses I actually had a blocked sinus for the first time in my life and it was not fun um, but yeah, I just, I needed to just be like, right, Monday, we're starting, we're getting into it, we're doing it full full throttle, no holds, no nothing, no excuses. I've got the Body Boss group, uh, Body Boss Babes. I've got you guys back on track. I'm going to be posting daily in the Body Boss Babes Facebook group. So if you're not a member of that and you're doing Body Boss, jump over to Facebook and search Body Boss Babes, answer the few questions and you can join in. Of course, in saying that, Please join in. Don't just join up and sit in the background and do nothing because the one thing I've learned over the last couple of months is if you don't commit, if you don't do something, all you're doing is wasting time. Like it's taken me two months to do the four week pre-training for Body Boss. That's two months where I could have been eating really healthy, exercising every single day, losing weight. I could have been down 10 kilos by now, but instead I've put on two kilos and I'm starting back fresh again. The plan is from now until Christmas, so for the next four months, healthy eating and exercising every day, except for Sundays, I'm going to have one rest day a week and just work on my fitness, try and lose 10 kilos. That is a big goal. We have decided, well I have decided, my husband really doesn't have a choice in the matter. I've decided that we're going to do IVF. Uh, simply because we've been trying for almost three years now. Nothing has really worked except for hormone injections, which is what I did last month. And if you cannot tell by all the pimples all over my face, injecting hormones actually really did a good job. I was on Purgon 75 milligrams, which is totally nothing. But this is the reaction my face had to hormones. I'm very hormone sensitive. I achieved a really good result with one egg being mature and perfect within six days. So obviously my body needs the extra hormones, the extra injections to boost itself to fall pregnant. And if I need that much, I'm like thinking, well, why bother waiting for IUI and the like? Why not just go straight into IVF, get it done, and hopefully fall pregnant? They'd be happy to do it for me at this current weight, but I would not be happy because I'm not healthy. I have, <laughs> oh my gosh, let's get 
to the low. Let's, let's just go through all of the different things that I have wrong with me. I have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, high glucose. What else? They're the main three big factors as well as being obese. They're the three or four main factors that are influencing my weight. I have other, you know, fertility problems such as endometriosis, PCOS, retroverted uterus, thickened uterine lining, and that is just making it really impossible to fall pregnant. They would be happy to do IVF for me at this stage, but I feel like it's, in my mind, it's almost negligence because you're almost committing someone to a miserable nine months. I would end up with really, really high blood pressure, probably in hospital for most of my pregnancy. I would have high blood sugar, meaning I would probably have gestational diabetes, if not contract full stage two diabetes and the rest that goes with it like you know big girls have big babies you try pushing a big baby out of small thing it's not gonna happen so you know there's a cesarean right there there's just so many more problems that come into play when you're overweight and you don't realize it till you try to conceive or even two and a half years after trying to conceive how much of an impact weight has on your body and on falling pregnant i had my head in the clouds for the first year, two years, uh, thinking that I could be one of those plus size women, those curvy women, the bigger girls that can have a baby and still be healthy and natural and all of that. Of course, we are all, you know, we are all mature adults. We all form our own opinions and decisions and, you know, all of that. But I do strongly blame social media for that one thought in my head, that one, that one thing about being overweight and being happily pregnant and having a perfectly perfect child. I blame social media. I blame body positive. I don't mean to say that not have being body positive is a, like a good thing. Like you should love the body that you're in. 100% you should love the body that you're in. I just find that all of these body positive posts, all these big girls posting beautiful photos of themselves with makeup and beautiful clothes, and it can be the same thing for skinny girls with, you know, regular beauty vloggers that are posting really skinny pictures of themselves and all of that. Like, no matter what you view, no beefy men on their Instagram looking at other muscly men, and thinking they need to take steroids. You know, it's the same principle, but for me, myself, and this body positive image that I have construed in my mind, social media definitely is to blame for it. I was very much intrigued by the plus size models and, you know, how they were looking so beautiful and can get these beautiful dresses and stuff. You know, it's all sensationalized. It's all sort of hyped up and you're led to believe that you can live that lifestyle and you just can't. It's so not healthy. Being overweight is not healthy no matter how well you look after yourself, you know. It's just not good. It's, I just, I don't want to put a negative spin on being body positive and being plus size at all because I'm forever going to be plus size. I'm just a big girl. That's how it's going to be. And we fight so hard for these changes. We fight so hard for being body positive and being body strong and being comfortable in our own skin and other people accepting us for being overweight or for being happy being overweight for a matter of fact. You don't realize that when it becomes a social norm and becomes acceptable, you become more complacent about being healthy and you're like oh well, well people just accept me for who I am well that's great that people accept you for who you are but it's not healthy <laughs> it's oh my goodness it's not healthy to just keep shoveling packets and packets of chip or you know eating blocks and blocks of chocolate sitting in the lounge all day drinking you know bottles of lemonade and soft drinks you know yes it might be acceptable to be overweight or to be plus size but it's not acceptable to do those things to your body it's the big thing for me. I am not anti plus size because I am a plus size person. I am anti the illusion that it gives to people on social media that being overweight is a good thing. You know, being overweight is a positive thing and it's really not because you get to your 30s and you want to have kids and it's not okay. <laughs> you struggle and then you have to pay ten thousand dollars to go and get IVF 
it's 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 a real struggle it's ugh. Ugh. I just I don't I don't know <laughs> Uh, anyway, that got really serious really quickly and I'm only just on the motorway, so yeah, morning traffic sucks big time. It's quarter past eight. I have 45 minutes to get to work. <sighs> So I just want to talk a little bit about motivation and I'm the last person that should be talking about motivation and all of that because I'm the least motivated person in the world. I get very sidetracked, hop from one thing to the other and forget about the last thing. So I need to not forget about this and forget about what's important. And that's why over in the Body Boss Babes group, I've made a post a couple of days ago about goals and setting goals and writing them somewhere where you're going to see them all the time. So I'm going to be doing that, but I'm not going to do it right now because I'm exhausted after that workout. Oh my gosh. Goals making them tangible, making them, you know, you're able to reach them and not forgetting about what they are because that can happen. Today I worked all day, worked about a nine hour shift, I think it was, on my feet all day. All I wanted was something sweet. I had decided on the way home that I was, well, I decided at work that I was going to buy a hot chocolate from the coffee shop around the corner on the way home and drink it in the car on the way home. Guess what I did? I drove straight past that coffee shop. I did not stop. I kept driving. I rang my husband to talk to him and he suggested that I drop into the supermarket to get some food for dinner. My reaction to that was, can we just eat what's at home? Because I know if I go to the supermarket, I'm either gonna buy chips, I'm gonna buy chocolate, I'm gonna buy something I shouldn't be eating and even if he doesn't see it, I'd probably sneak it somewhere. So I just really wanted to just cross out the possibility of being weak and getting those foods. I'm gonna be really tough on myself for the first couple of weeks. I may have these thoughts and it's totally okay to have these thoughts, it's normal. We're trying to break habits, we're trying to break a cycle. You're supposed to have these thoughts right now, but you need to have those goals. You need to have that in your mind and realize, look, I can withgo chocolate and chips for the next four months have IVF and be pregnant. Or I can eat chips and chocolate for the next four months and put on another 10 kilos. Never fall pregnant, never have a baby. What are my options? Hmm, I think I know which one I'm gonna go with. It's just really important to keep thinking about those goals and what's important and pushing yourself. And there was a girl at work, one of my good friends, Letitia, she has lost an, an extraordinary amount of weight. I'm hoping I might be able to get her on the vlogs on Wednesday, she's coming over. She's lost a heap of weight and she goes and does Zumba. She said to me, oh, I've got to go to Zumba tonight, I really don't want to, rah, rah. I said, oh, are you going? That's great, like, good on you for going. And then at the end of the day, she said, no, I'm not going. Letitia, this is a note for you, girl. I hope you went to Zumba tonight. I hope you went, I hope you did it, I hope you worked out. I hope you're sweating as much as I am because you were the motivation for me today to go out and exercise and I really want to thank you for that. In saying that, my exercise today, whew, I did the wrong workout. I have decided that I'm going to be doing the Body Boss program from the first week of the full program, so the 12-week program. I flipped to the wrong page. I ended up doing Wednesday, which is fine. Wednesday is arms, abs, and cores, which is fine. You know, I'll just skip. I will go to Wednesday and do Monday's workout instead, so I'll just swap them over. Getting back next week, I'll start following it through, but it was just because I was opening the book for the first time in two weeks, and I just started doing the abs, which is fine. I, I actually enjoy doing an ab and core workout. That's where I need the most work. Okay guys, that is it for today. I'm going to go and have some electrolytes and sort of re-energize myself, think about cooking dinner, edit this vlog, and go to bed and get up early in the morning to go for a walk.
I'm so excited. We haven't been for a walk in a long time and I actually really enjoy going for these walks. So for now, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Even when I haven't been making vlogs, which has been for a little while now, you guys are still been commenting and it's really like, it motivates me and inspires me and pushes me and it's what's brought me back to doing these vlogs. So I do thank you so much. I'm going to go and organize my life. I'll see you tomorrow morning when we go for our walk. Love you guys. Bye bye.